Okay. Let's find something new. Rebel Star Tactical Command. Well then, we're jumping right into the good side of things. Oh, if this is the one I'm remembering... At night I dream of them, but I've never seen them. Are you waiting for me to hit the button? I don't know, sometimes I see their huge ships drifting silently through the clouds. I know their servants, the Savage Zorn. They took my father on his 30th birthday, and I haven't seen him since. My mother tried to escape with me, but the Zorn used her tracking chip to find us. They took her away too. They took anyone older than 30. I didn't want to wait for that to happen to me. I wanted to fight back. So I escaped and headed south to join the rebels. New campaign. My name is Jonlin, Corporal Jonlin, and I've been assigned as your field instructor. What is your name, soldier? Jorel, sir. Listen and learn, Jorel. Today you will start your basic training with the standard ripple assault rifle. Learn to use it well and listen to my advice, understand? Yes, sir. Move out, soldier. Maybe this isn't the one I was remembering. Maybe this is more just a tactics game now. No, this is absolutely not the one I was thinking of. What the hell was that? There's some game out there that is both, um, sort of RPG and shmup in, like, it has shmup sections as random battles. Okay, four server bots are pre-programmed and armed with guns. They'll act as the enemy forces in this training mission. Your objective is to destroy all the robots. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Destroy all the bots. Don't just stand there. Get moving. Okay, so we are in basic tutorial for basic tactical thing. Yes, 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 good lord. sort of a... Wow, it's... It's not just tutorial, it is hand-holding you through every single action tutorial. At least the, um, controls are set properly. It's, a uh, Qbert style, where once I have control again, I will elaborate my point. Yes, 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 it's fine. It is, uh, set so that hitting up takes you up and right, down is down and left, right is down and right, and left is up and left. This is basically, you know, since I was very little playing Qbert, this was how I always saw these isometric games and how the controls felt right to me. Uh, you know, there's this, there's Qbert, uh, Snake Rattle and Roll has the same controls. Just, this has always seemed the proper way for me for this sort of thing. And I was not paying attention to what he even told me, so let's just go on Overwatch. Snap first. Yeah, that took some damage. But that's okay. Let's move around to the side. 
Yeah, we'll stay behind the box. No, we're not behind this box. Cannot overwatch, so we'll just wait here. It is very much like XCOM Lite. Okay, nobody has approached. So we will go behind the wall. And of course, he's on Overwatch, but he missed. Awesome. No, don't need status. Enter. Do we really need that big cinematic screen in telling us how many turns we have left? Here. I'm surprised he didn't get us on Overwatch. And we'll save state it. Its accuracy is pretty low. Like, miserably low. Why is the accuracy that low? Oh well, either way. That'll do. We will just continue moving. See how far we can get. Not very far at all, but still. I kind of want to go this way, so that'll work. Okay, over to the sandbags. Oh, nice. Hopefully we have like a grenade or something to get through that wall. What can we throw? I don't know. What are we throwing, exactly? What did we just throw? Did I just throw like an extra ammo clip? Just end turn there. He got lucky there. Also, particularly lucky that he decided to come out from his cover. Awesome. Okay. Skill points. Woohoo. No, oh, it's... I wonder, will it even let me... Okay, it will... Gives me advice, but doesn't restrict me. Okay, so the basic basics that they don't even explain. Obviously they are totally enslaved by this other alien race. And we have this little rebel camp here, which is going to try and, you know, throw off the chains of slavery from this alien race. I do not think I will play through this entire game. It is not the game I had been thinking of. And I just don't think that this is really my style of game. Also, excessive tutorialing. Don't know how many more stages it's going to be like that, but probably quite a few. Such and forward, and yeah. <laughs> Not even like. Wow, yeah, it's just. <laughs> uh huh. One AP to turn 45 degrees. Seriously. And <laughs> I should have turned. used an aimed shot, but whatever. I don't really care. We're not going to be playing through the entire thing here. I don't think we're even going to finish this particular mission.
Awesome. <laughs> I think we can call this here. I think we can just sort of Just move and ignore any aliens we find. See what the game does about that. I guess you are right about that. That, you know. No, we, we are not going to do that. We're just going to continue moving. Yes, we are going to do that. Yes, screw that. Really, m must we? Can I just continue moving, please? Thank you. <laughs> so, it's Overwatch was... facing inside. The, the, the Overwatch was not facing outside, where potential enemies could attack from. The Overwatch was facing the interior of the building, where presumably there are more alien defenses. Great job there, aliens! I can see how you've managed to keep humanity in check for so long. No, I really do not think this is worth a full playthrough. Partly because it's just not something I can give interesting commentary on throughout. Partly because I'm not fully familiar with this game, as made obvious by the fact that I didn't even know particularly which game it was. I thought it was a different game based on the title. And, you know, I kinda suck at tactical games, even if I can save state through them. Part of the reason why I've never gotten through any of the Fire Emblem games. But all that aside, this has been Rebel Star Tactical Command. Mildly interesting story. Pretty good, well, actually rather good, tactical mechanics. You know, it has more options for tactics than most of the basic games of this type do. So, pretty good stuff overall. I would recommend checking it out, and actually... Skirmish game, what do we got? Yes, playing. Should we use the actual stages, or. Sure, let's be the Freylar. Just because I don't know who these aliens might be. How can they have loading on a Game Boy Advance cartridge? like race there. And what happened to the others? I don't want to. I guess we already deployed the hive master, so sure. We're not gonna put any equipment on them, we're just going to see what all this looks like. It looks like an alien planet. So, yeah, pretty nifty stuff, kind of overall, throughout. But that will certainly be all for that. Check it out yourselves. I'm about done here.